Hey guys, Dylan Tommy here, hanging out in the green room, and it's getting a little late tonight. I already have tanks going off, but I'm going to quickly update uh, a couple of the tanks in here, uh, particularly uh, the guppy breeding projects I have going on here in the 20 tall and, and the 20 long, and uh, what's going on in the big 55 because I've recently added uh, a lot of my fancy tail guppies, and they're looking good. I have about eight of them in here, and they're all sub adults except for this red guy right here. He's from a, a little older generation. And I rescaped this tank a little bit, opened up a lot of these holes so I can see into the dense vegetation and uh, see these cool little fancy tails. Check them out. Really cool. And like I said, I'm planning to add a lot more so the entire tank is filled with guppy. But uh, check out the system. Looks like it needs a little trim. It always does. But I've been uh, growing out the vegetation to create these holes and these tunnels so I can, you know, see in to what's going on deep in the thick vegetation. And it's been a real cool habitat. When the guppies initially come into the tank, uh, they've been small and they've been very timid. So they, they head right down to the substrate and into the thick vegetation to, uh, to seek, uh, you know, cover. So I've been able to see them, you know, in the dense vegetation by keeping the scape overgrown like this, but with areas that, uh, that I can view into it. A trench, so to speak. Like I said, a lot of the smaller ones spend a lot of time deep in the foliage in there. They're not necessarily in the water column yet. Some of the larger ones, the larger tails, the, the more mature male guppy are out here in the water column. Look at this guy, he's looking big. Really cool colors. And I do plan to eventually move the rest of the fish out. The blood fins and the serpes and the barbs. And uh, I think I'll probably keep the rams in here with the guppies. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I do plan to move a lot of the bigger fish, particularly this large school of, of Danios up here. These zebras which are great, they're really large fish, but uh, I'd like to see the fancy tail guppies in the water column with their beautiful color patterns rather than these old, uh, distorted Danios. So we're working on that, and uh, this tank's looking great. I've uh, been having a blast with it, truly. And uh, the guppy colonies are, are thriving. There's plenty of males in that tank, although it's off right now. And. Uh, couple young males in this tank that are not quite ready to be added to the 55. Let's see if I can show you one. Oh, this guy right here. He's one of the next ones to be added. He's still a little too small, but check out his colors. He's got really cool red in his tail. He's going to be a stunner once he grows out. And he'll be one of the next males from this tank to go in the 55. In my breeding tank, where I've been keeping all the big females and they are big. These ladies are huge. Look at this gal. They're all beasts. They truly are. And uh, I decided just to keep two males in here. We got this guy whose brother is now in the 55. We'll keep his uh, red fancy jeans in the mix. And uh, this neon guy. But this is what the the breeding colony looks like there's about 10 big females in there and then just two males and if I take a look into some of the vegetation you can probably see some younger generation in this tank some of them swim in the water column they're a little bigger I haven't been pulling them out of here uh, as regularly as I was so there's a lot of uh, smaller young fry in this tank too if you look down here I often see them down here in the in the foliage. But there's the breeding colony guys. Like I said, uh, it started out in here with the males and all these big females and they're doing their things and they're really creating me some beautiful young men to put in this tank. And eventually the whole 55 will be stocked with these fancy guppy. All from my own breeding projects. That's the part of the fish keeping I do enjoy, is uh, 
creating habitat for these fish to spawn and then keeping them and keeping the subsequent generation too. But there's a quick look at the green room guys. Sorry I haven't posted much lately. Uh, I do plan to do some updates soon. Most definitely the paludarium. Everybody's asking about the paludarium and it's really looking good right now. It could use a trim too but uh, the paludarium is in full effect. Check out this little tank. I had told you all the all the baby tears had really carpeted out in its uh, terrestrial form here and this tank looks great. This is actually a piece of uh, Ludwigia. See it here? This green plant that was uh, in one of the aquatic systems and I acclimated it to its uh, terrestrial form. But the, this vid is looking cool, really grown out, really cool little habitat. Thanks for hanging out guys. Like I said, more updates to come. Uh, I want to show you the paludarium and uh, everything else that's going on in here without the tanks off. So thanks for hanging guys. I appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Tank on.